I'm Paul Basoka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 49th question from Digital SAT Test 1, Reading and Writing Potato Version, and number 49 reads, In 1943, in the midst of World War II, mathematics professor Grace Hopper was recruited by the U.S. military to help the war effort by solving complex equations. Hopper's subsequent career would involve more than just equations, though. As a pioneering computer programmer, Hopper would help usher in the digital age. Which choice completes the text so that it conforms to the conventions of standard English? And we look at our answer choices. So what we have to watch out for, answer choice A, notice to see the colon. As soon as you see a colon, you've got to make sure there's an independent clause before the colon. So I read up to and including though, and it reads as Hopper's subsequent career would involve more than just equations though. And that makes sense. That's an independent clause. What follows a colon has to be another independent clause or something you would expect. What do we have after? As a pioneering computer programmer, Hopper would help usher in the digital age. We've got another independent clause. Looks good. Um, so we're looking at answer choice A as a correct answer. Answer choice B, we already said we have an independent clause up to and including the word though. And then we've got another independent clause after the word though. So, right here, we've got a comma separating two independent clauses. We'd call that a comma splice. What's a comma splice? It's when a comma separates two independent clauses, and it is not allowed. Illegal B is wrong. Answer choice C. If you read with answer choice C in place, Hopper's subsequent career would involve more than just equations. Makes sense. But then the word though is coupled with the wrong independent clause. Though as a pine engine... Though as a pioneering computer programmer, Hopper would help usher in the digital age. Again, that was uh, with the wrong independent clause. So here's a, here's a little tip. If you've got an independent clause before, then putting though at the end of the sentence will not make it not an independent clause. That's fine. I've seen this with some difficult questions on SAT with however at the end or for example at the end. I'm going to say it again. If you've got an independent clause then you could end the sentence with for example, or however, or though, and that's 100% fine. Answer choice D, D has no punctuation at all, and you might notice that you've got a pause. Hopper's subsequent career would involve more than just equations, though. You know you pa you're pausing before and or after, though. So as, as it turns out, you're pausing both before and after. A is going to be your correct answer. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty knowing when to use a colon. You might not have picked the colon because you don't see a list after. That's uh, BS. Um, now, if you've got an independent clause and you're expecting to hear something after and you do have a list, then yeah, use the colon. But you need that independent clause before. Know your two rules. Independent clauses could separate two independent clauses. Uh, I'm sorry. Colons could separate two independent clauses. You need an independent clause before and something you would expect after one of those two circumstances. See the full-length video. Well, this is the full-length video. To see the one-minute video, check us out on TikTok. And you could uh, put someone's name in the comments if they have trouble with colons. Have a great day.